move on to the next problem. So we are asked to find the current and voltages in the circuit shown in this video. Okay, let's do some copy pasting again. Let's copy the circuit. And then let's resize them. Circuit is so small, guys. Let's resize it. Okay, it's a little bit blurry, but I think you can still see it. Okay, find the current and voltage. I think if we are given this circuit and we check this as our ground, so the voltage here will be zero. And we name this here as our node. But our node here is the same as V2 because this is the ground so and v2 is here so this is not v2 and we can do what we can do is kcl at mode v2 kcl at mode okay now we have given the direction of the current so let's see what kcl does so the KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the only current that goes in is I1. So let's rewrite that I1. And then the current that goes out is I2 and I3. So I'll have I2 plus I3. Okay, now we have I1 here. And we can calculate I1 by using Ohm's law. Because this knot here is 10 volt from the ground, so we have 10 volt voltage source, so we have 10 volt here. And I1 here is 10 minus V2 divided by 2. Divided by 2. So the difference between voltage divided by the resistance. And then for I2, it is V2 divided by 8, right? It is V2 minus the voltage here, but it is 0, so I don't need to write it. And V2 divided by the resistance between the voltage, so it is 8. Plus I3, I3 is here, it is between V2 and this is 6, but the polarity of positive is here, so the value of the voltage here will be minus 6. So I'll have V2 minus minus 6 divided by the resistance between the voltage, which is 4. Okay, so now let's do what can we do to simplify this. Okay, I want to make this sign positive first, so let's just copy that. Minus V2 divided by 2 is equal to V2 divided by 8 plus, what is it? V2 plus 6 divided by 4. Okay, now let's multiply all of this by 8, so we don't have the denominator here. So we'll have 40 minus 4 V2 is equal to V2 plus what is it? This is 2 V2 plus 12. Okay, we can move the all the constant to the left hand side and all with V2 to the right hand side. So 40 minus 12, it is 28, right? I have 28 on the left hand side and then V2 plus 2V2 is 3V2 3V2 plus 4V2 will be 7V2 
So from here I will have V2 is equal to 4 volt which is great. Why? Because we can find out the other voltage from here. So V1 is the difference between this node and this node. So I will have it will be 10 minus V2 and we already have V2 so V1 is 10 minus 4 which is 6 volt and from here we can find the V3 so V3 is just V2 minus minus 6 or V2 plus 6 and V2 is 4 volt so I will have V3 is equal to 10 volt so we have all the voltage covered and it is the same as the answer given in the problem, right? And then for the current, let's see what the current is. So I1, I1 is just V1 divided by 2, right? So I'll have V1, 6 divided by the resistance, which is 2. So I1 is 3 ampere and I2, oh I2, I better write it here, so it is here and this might be a better place for I3. So I2 is just V2 divided by 8, which is 4 divided by 8, which is 0 0.5 ampere or 500 so this is for i2 and for i3 it is just v3 divided by this one for ohm so i have 10 divided by 4 and 10 divided by 4 what is it Five divided by two, so maybe okay. Stupid effect, but this is two point five ampere. Yeah, it's kind of different from the answer, but I'm pretty sure I did not miscalculate things, so maybe the answer key is wrong. Let's see. Yeah, this is our V two is four. Four, and then this will be making yeah we are right 10 divided by 4 is 2.5 and I think the answer key is wrong okay, and I think this is enough for practice problem 2.8 okay now let's move on to the next problem 